Hello everyone, so The Rise of Skywalker is finally out and I got my opportunity to see it and I will be quite honest, I was nervous going into this movie just because, you know, the fa the fan base has been divided since The Last Jedi and this movie has been getting mixed reviews so this film wasn't going to be the one that united everybody so I've kind of met my peace with that and just thinking like, well maybe we'll, we still have great opportunities with The Mandalorian and all the other TV shows that are coming out for the fan base to come back together and love all that. But after seeing this movie, I came out satisfied. I enjoyed watching this movie. I do have my issues with it. There are a couple problems here and there, but overall I had fun with it. And the one word that I would use to describe my experience, at least with The Rise of Skywalker, is satisfying. I, I was satisfied leaving the theater. And I again, I had fun with this movie. I enjoyed it, but I do have issues with it. And I'm just going to jump right into those because I want to leave this review on a positive note. My biggest problem with this movie, it happens in the beginning of the film. The beginning feels so rushed. The whole first act is just nonstop and you never get a chance to just stop and just breathe and figure out what's going on because they they try to like play catch up and just try to like fix everything it just felt to me that jj abrams was trying to get the story to a place that he felt satisfied that where he wanted it to end after the force awakens where he would want want it to be after the last jedi that's what it felt like to me that he was just not course correcting, but getting things in position so where he can tell his story. And I just felt everything was just completely rushed just so we can get to that point. And especially in the opening crawl of this movie, this is the least, my least favorite crawl out of all the saga films because there's just the very first paragraph is just like, oh, okay, we're, we're going there. All right. And there's no real like, like lead up to it. So like the, a lot of my issues with this film happen within the first act of the movie. And I feel like this movie really would have benefited with an extra like 30 minutes worth of screen time. I know it's already a two and a half hour, close to two and a half hour movie, but I, I feel like just to tell the story that J.J. Abrams wanted to tell, he needed an extra time just to set all that up because again, that first act is so rushed and like it kept cutting every scene. You'd be in one scene for maybe at very most two minutes and then it would abruptly cut to the next scene. I'm like, oh, okay, I guess we're just moving on. And then and I really just wanted to s stop for a second. It's like, all right, let me, give me time to digest what I just saw and then we can move on. But it, it was just so quick to move on to the next thing because again, it needed to rush to get to where Abrams wanted to wanted it to get to. So I, and just the, the very first act of this film, like the first 20 to 30 minutes or so, maybe even longer than that, it just feels really rushed and it's just nonstop. And that's where most of my problems lie. And also I, I have to address this because after watching The Rise of Skywalker, I think it's very apparent now that Kathleen Kennedy and company, contrary to what they've been saying, had no idea what they wanted to do with this trilogy. I mean, that's one of my biggest complaints is that there was no real creative head manning where this story needed to go. It felt like they didn't have a destination for this trilogy. They never really sat down and said, all right, this is where we want to start and this is where we want to end. And what the directors want to do, getting to that point, that's where they can veer off and start to try to tell their stories. But it was very clear that the Emperor was not supposed to be in this movie from the very get-go. Abram says, like, yeah, that was something that I, I intended to. I think that's a bunch of bull because of that first act. It's just so, all right, we, we got to fix a couple of things because if we say it this way, it won't vibe with what happened in The Last Jedi. It would have worked with post The Force Awakens, but since Ryan Johnson did this in The Last the Last Jedi, we have to do it this way. And I feel that Kathleen Kennedy is a great producer. She does a great job hiring directors and other people onto the project and make it the best it can be. But as far as telling the story, a cohesive story from start to finish, I don't think she did a great job doing that. Because I think had J.J. Abrams directed all three of these movies, we would have gotten not necessarily a better trilogy, but just rather a more cohesive story. And he would know in his head, this is where I want to go, so this is the puzzle pieces I need to move around, rather than trying to play catch up and sort of like correcting, not course correcting, but adjusting the story to his liking in the first 20 to 30 minutes of this film really hurt it. So, and another thing that I will say that I had an issue with is there are certain story beats in the movie where things just seem to be a little too convenient. Like they need to go here, but to get to there, they need something. But this other person has something that they, that will totally get them to here. It's like, oh, okay. So 
They just give them that, and now they're they're over here. And I, again, I'm trying not to spoil anything because this is a spoiler for your review, obviously. And it, it's just certain story beats again that just didn't feel challenging to our heroes, and they just they needed this. Oh, all right, we got this. So now let's go here and. The, this, the story did seem a little video gameish. It's like, all right, our next mission is to go here. Now that we have this, we need to go here. All right, we have this now. Now we can go here. And that's fine. And once I go over that, and again, once it gets to a certain point, it does start to flow a bit better. But it, at certain points, it did feel like just like set piece after set piece after set piece. But when, when, I, when, I, when you do get to this set piece, there are some great moments that happen here, but then they move on to here, but then there's some great moments over here. So that's, I think that's what makes it up for me. And I don't really like have a whole big issue with it. But then again, there are things in here that are really convenient and it just wasn't challenging enough for our heroes. Now I want to get into the pauses of the movie because I did enjoy myself this movie. It's a fun time to be had with this movie. And one of the things that I really enjoyed watching was the dynamic between our three heroes, uh, Ray, Poe, and Finn. I've been waiting to see them all together on a joint adventure since The Force Awakens. We basically get no interaction with Ray and Poe in the first two movies of this trilogy. I mean, they have like a shared sentence in The Last Jedi at the very end, but for the most part, they have no interaction. And I like seeing them sort of bicker, like just like a, a married couple, because Ray's upset with Poe for doing something and Poe's upset with Ray for just doing something else and it, it, it's fun to see them like just like butt heads because of things that they think they should be doing but they're not and of course the the dynamic between Finn and Poe is great I love the, the like the friendship they forge in The Force Awakens and it carries on into this film so just to see these three characters together on this adventure and then just like the shenanigans they get into and the way that they talk to each other it it feels like they've known each other for quite some time and you feel that in the dialogue there's some of the things that I liked about this movie and the dot the the humor was spot on. I love the way that this, aside from the fly joke that we got to see in that clip that got released before the movie um, got released was something that I was worried about, but the humor works so well in this movie, especially from Poe. There's some very hilarious moments with Poe in this movie. I'm not gonna spoil that anybody. And one of my favorite things in this movie was the expansion of force abilities in this film. You got a little bit uh, more of that in The Last Jedi, and they expand on that in this film, and it makes for some amazing sequences. I love the way they use the Force in this movie, and it's just like, where, God, wh wh what are the possibilities for the future movies? And just just to see the the abilities in the Force grow, it, it, it's so cool to see, because for, for the longest time in the original trilogy and the prequel trilogy, it was like this set amount of abilities that we knew everybody was able to do with like, you know, Force, uh, moving things with the force, for foresight, force lightning, just thing and other dark side abilities, and obviously like in the rumored like bringing people back to life that the dark side is able to do. But for the for the most part, there's just been this set skill set that all force users can do, and they expand on on this in this film. I was so happy um, that they were able to do that and just sort of carry. That's one thing that that got carried into this film from The Last Jedi that got done very well. So I was really happy with that. And this one thing that I can't spoil, but there's a certain thing that happens that I'm on the fence about. And if you've seen the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I, it's like, it's a pro and a con for me at least because I, I don't like how it undermines something that happens previously in the trilogy. But at the same time, I like that this message that it sends um, because of it and the, the opportunity for the this character and this story and how it completes this character's arc and what it does for for this character just I'm trying to speak cryptically here but if again if you see the movie you know what i'm talking about and i'll expand upon this on this in my spoiler review but again it's like there's on one hand it just it, it doesn't sit well with me but on the other hand it's like oh that that sends a great message and and it's great for this character so um Again, it's a pro and a con. I'll talk more about it in a spoiler room, but if if you know what I'm talking about, you you, you know what it is. So yeah, I, I can't I can't talk about it any further again because it's a huge spoiler. So as I come to the end of this review, I, what I will say is I do have to see this movie a couple more times to see where I rank it among the other films in all in all of Star Wars. But I, I've said before uh, that The Force Awakens is my second 
favorite Star Wars film out of everything. So to remove that movie out of this trilogy and just to look at The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker, because at this point, this, these are the two movies that are most hotly debated. There are Force Awakens haters out there, and I've since ignored them. But as of right now, The Rise of Skywalker and The Last Jedi are the two probably the most debated films as of this point in this in the sequel trilogy and for me at this point if i had both of the blu-rays in my hand right now i'm watching the rise of skywalker over the last jedi and it really boils down to just how fun the movie is i came out of the last jedi thinking like that was interesting i don't know what i'm feeling right now i'm gonna have to see it again and the more i watched it i'm like this movie doesn't isn't as much fun as the force awakens and when i look at the rest of skywalker i came out like more positive i'm like yeah okay i have my problems with it but it doesn't really hurt my experience with the film because it is a very fun film what i will say is that i went into this film and just sort of tempered myself and said okay i want things to go a certain way but if they don't go a certain way go with it and since I had that mindset, there are things that happen that within it, like I said before, there's one big thing that happens that I agree and that I really fundamentally just didn't like. But I went with it, thought about it more. I'm like, all right, so it presents a new opportunity for this story. And I had fun with it. This movie is fun. So what I will say is if you're a fan like I am and you want the movie to go a certain way, and if you've seen the movie and things just didn't go the way you thought they were just go with it because when we look back on this trilogy the problems that we have were will fade away i i think because yeah they, the i i wish that kathleen kennedy and company would have handled this trilogy in a more cohesive way and had a better vision and a, a clear a clear vision i should say of where this trilogy needed to go but i i'm kind of gonna like in the next year, two, five, ten, we'll look back on this trilogy and t and accept it for what it is. Because when you look back on the prequels, I do have problems with the prequels. I'm not going to lie. Just stuff in there that just the execution of certain things is like, why, why do it that way? But now I appreciate it for what that is. And I think that's what's going to happen to the sequel trilogy. It really, what this movie really boils down, boils down to, I think, is what type of fan are you? Are you somebody that just hangs on to the OT and say nothing will ever outbeat this? And I, I in certain ways, I agree with you. That OT, the original trilogy is just lightning in a bottle. I don't think anything will ever recreate that magic. It just depends on what kind of fan you are. I am a very forgiving Star Wars fan. There really hasn't been anything that has come out of this new Disney era of Star Wars that I've just straight up hated. For me, at least, there are things in this trilogy that I absolutely love. There are things in this trilogy that I wish would have gone differently. But again, if you can just see these films for what they are, take these films for what they are, I think you will have a better time with them, especially The Rise of Skywalker, because it is a fun movie. There is much fun to ha be had in this movie, and if you can just take it for what it is, it's fun. But that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and share. Consider following me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and remember to hit the bell icon to be notified when a new video goes up. Thank you, as always, for watching. May the Force be with you. Always.